offering and uh, i don't know what uh, to, to, to to bless the pastor to, to, to. nilikuwa kipofu lakini sasa macho yangu ninaona kabisa nzuri ndio it is very big it is very mighty it is very powerful praise the lord this is the road to meningai 6 special edition right here on crown tv and my name is peter fabius and today we are basically going to look at the events that unfolded last week starting with the first day of preparation on ground zero that's the meningai 6 grounds right here uh, in nakuru city let's take a look uh, welcome Praise the Lord, my name is Peter Fabius and today I'm basically coming to you live from Ground Zero, the Benengai 6 Grounds, whereby the Lord uh, is going to have, I you know, a mega, mega visitation and the mighty, mighty prophet of the Lord is going to, you know, be presiding over this meeting. And basically, as Ground TV uh, team, uh, you know, we are down here to bring you up to date, you know, the, the events that are unfolding over here and also to help you understand what is taking place right down here. And today we are basically also going to take views from the third foot from this minister of the center from the Holiness Church and also to help you understand, you know, what is basically uh, going to take place and what are their expectations about this. I is managed to sample a few of their comments and, uh, you know, views about around this mega meeting that is coming up in Nakoro and they had the following. Thank you very much for joining us. First thing first, maybe you introduce yourself to our viewers over there, maybe those that are watching for the first time. Uh, my name is uh, Bishop Elvis Kaya. Yes. I'm the presiding bishop of the by the grace of God yes. under the glorious ministry of the Repentance and Holiness, yes. led by the mightiest, mightiest prophets of the Lord. Amen. So today we are here mm. where the meeting of the Lord is going to be, mm. where the Lord has allowed us to come. Uh, when the Lord allows his servants, the mightiest, mightiest prophets of the Lord, yes. to come here in Akuru yes. at the ground of Menengai 6 on the 16th and the 17th of March, yes. that will be mighty a mega healing service that the Lord has promised the church. Amen. Now, you being at the ground of the meeting of the Lord, what have you observed and uh, what are your expectations going forward? Before I talk about uh, what I expect or what, uh, what I've observed, yes. first First of all, allow me just to uh, thank the mightiest prophet of the Lord, yes. because before they came, mm -hmm. the church did not have the miracle of God. Yes. We were treated to wickedness, where people came into the house of the Lord, they were, uh, they were cheated that uh, there is healing. Mm. And you, saw, you see pastors pushing them, at one point they are asking for money. They're asking that uh, they kindly bring your money, go sell your land, mm -hmm. go take soil from this place and come and we pray for it, then you'll get a land. Yeah. And then you find our widow has sold everything. Oh, yeah. Because as people, we need to, we, we desire to know God. Yes, we right. desire to know God. We desire to have the visitation of God. We desire we desire mm -hmm. to expand to, to, to fellowship to, to fellowship with God. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were hungry and nobody brought us the true bread. Mm -hmm. Nobody nobody taught us the truth. Yes. Yeah. But uh, when God so it is enough is enough. Yes. He sent his servants, the mightiest prophets of the Lord. Yes. And when they came to the land, yes. we were treated to another gospel. Yes. Another route that the church had never been dealt for. We were treated to a place whereby sin was called sin. Yes. You, you, the, the pastors were rebuked. Yes. They brought the visitation. We hear them saying that I've spoken with God the Father. Yes. And God has said this and this, and this is going to happen. That God is going to come and visit in his thick cloud. Yes. That there will be no any basket that will be 
passing uh, among the people mm. to collect the tithes and offering and uh, I don't know what uh, uh, to, 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 to bless the pastor mm. to, to, to like uh, bribing God yeah. that God may heal your people no 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 and also it you as it's only to align to be there because God has promised his sending his servants. Tonight we are Richard Amolo Peo, Kutoka Madabao Makuya Oyugis, Greta Oyugis. Nimefika hapa siku ya leo kumikia kasi, kufanya kasi katika uwanja he. Mara nyingi tumekua tukifanya kasi katika hiki uwanja. Na shukuru sana nabimu kuwa mungu kwa nipa ukunyaji ya kipeke. Kwa mana wakati fulani nilikuwa kipofu, lakini sasa macho yangu ninahona kapisa vizuri. Dio mana nimeamua kutumikia mungu paka siku kapata punsa ya kuingia upalmi wa binguni. Asante sana manabi wa mungu kwa kukuja kwetu. Asante sana manabi wa mungu kwa tupa uponyaji pure bila malipo. Karibu ni katika wanya wa buwana. Kazi inaendelea kwa raka sana. Watu kutoka migori. Watu kutoka siya ya kisumu nyakach. Kadongo. Oriang. Kote kote duniani. Ninako kumbuka menengai. Mimi mwenyewe ya kwanza sikuwa nimejua menengai na manisha nini. Lakini tangu menengai fo. Tarehe salasini na moja. Muke wangu kutembea. Alie kuwa kiwete miaka kumi na sita. Miaka kumi na sita. Miaka ukiesabu miaka. Mpaka kumi na sita. Na kukuwa na uwezo wa kumuinua. Hata ijapokuwa nirikuwa mchungaji kure inje. Singa weza muinua. Hata kama nirikuwa nikefanya nini singa weza muinua. Lakini tipipo fika katika huo wanja huo. Kutokana na amri moja. Amri moja. Iliu tangazwa siku huo. Muke wangu alitembea. Na hiyo ikawa ni mishangau kubwa, kubwa, kubwa sana kwa maisha ya jami yangu. Niposa sasa hivi leo, nilipo sikia kwamba kumepewa na fasi wa mene ngaitena. Nika sema mimi siwezi nikabake inje. Very, very amazing ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. And as you can see over there, you know, massive, massive, massive preparations are ongoing over there. And you could hear clearly from Bishop Ngaira over there telling us that everything is basically ready. And he's saying that, you know, no baskets are going to run around, you know, to collect. Uh, you know sadak and all that kind of things and basically you know i was actually very 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 privileged to even meet these people that you know came through also to have an interview with me and so they confessed that you know really really we were healed in the previous meetings that had been happening over here in kenya and uh once again ladies and gentlemen i just want also to tell you you know from that clip you could also tell you know the excitement around you know this beautiful beautiful mega meeting that is coming up in nakuru you know uh on 16th 17th and 18th right now i just want us to now get to you know uh, to friday when i also visited that you know that ground and i was uh, able to you know also collect a few you know comments over there and i it was uh, there was a very big you know celebrations around uh, the, the, the 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 meeting that is up, uh, coming up in nakuru and very senior personalities were uh, at, at, you know were in attendance over there and uh, even the director of jesus is lord radio was also present there let's just take a look of what really transpired then when we come back we'll really get to talk more about it we are coming to you live from a ground zero that is the venue that will host the most tremendous mighty 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 meeting of the lord of many guys six my name is Bishop Kennedy coming to you live from the ground of the meeting. Everything on the concerning ground clearance is done. <laughs> and also the parking lot on both sides is done. <laughs> new development the reason why we are coming and with a lot of joy and uh, now the new development that are um, happening here that we are coming with a lot of joy the electrical team they already brought a pulse that is the new development and also you can see that uh, they are marking the venue uh, the place and uh, all the spots 
where they will have the electric poles and the holes already prepared and also as we continue on the other side the fencing already done the entire field of fence that is the main fence or the main field rather already fenced to enhance security here at Senior Lesson. And that's why even as we continue, ladies, uh, uh, restroom already uh, done. And that is where they stop today as we are celebrating. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is very big, it is very mighty, it is very powerful, it is very historic. In the Kuru, Moto in Awaka, we can see. Expectation, the revival is beginning in the field. People are working with such a joy, with great commitment, preparing the field for the massive, mighty, historic visitation of the Lord God Almighty. I can see the, the digging of toilets is going on seriously there, and the field has been cleared, and many, many people have come to work, to serve the Lord, to prepare for the visitation of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah! All kind of people, even for very senior people are here today, and they have come to work with us, and are very blessed here also, to welcome the director of Crown TV, Peter Tobias. He is already here on the field. He has been covering the preparation on his TV station and he has been mobilizing on Crown TV, the latest and newest TV station in Akuro. And he has told me that Crown TV will cover the entire meeting live. Hallelujah! So I want to give him a chance also just to say what is happening because the mobilization this time is going on on Jesus' is Lord Radio and also Crown TV. Welcome on the director. My name is Peter Fabias and uh, by the grace of God I'm the CEO and the director of Crown TV right here in Nakuru City. And I'm so privileged to be at the ground of the meeting of the Lord where the visitation of the, of the Lord God Almighty is going to take place. I've been following very closely from day one when I came here and, and you know, recorded and even aired what was taking place on Ground Zero. And it has been so powerful, it has been so mighty, it has been so marvelous. I want to bring to your attention and the, to the attention of your listeners to, today that we have ro really rolled out a very special segment for the Menengai 6 meeting that is uh, dubbed the road to Menengai 6 and tonight is going to be very very powerful over there whereby we are going to display the mighty 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 road to Menengai 6. Deputy Archbishop Jola has said that uh, uh, you came today and uh, sing uh, that the work uh, in the field here has just uh, gone a much a uh, large percentage of the work he has done because Look, the ground already cleared, and the fence already done, and the thing that literally everything is done, and now we are counting 14 days to go, Deputy Bishop John Langan. Yes, this, is, this meeting is going to be very big, Yes, because even people have come from far, and yet the meeting is not even tomorrow yes. or today, yes. but you can see many people really want to be here, where the action is taking place and to be counted to be part of the people yes. who are preparing the ground for the meeting of the Lord. Oh yes, that's why they have come to see and to prepare the field which will host the visitation of the Lord. We heard the men of God are coming live on air talking about this meeting or this, uh, the visitation that is coming here. That's so big, that's why you are here as an elder to come as a senior deputy bishop to see the work that's happening here. Very mighty indeed. Yes, yes, senior bishop. It is good to be here and to be part of the preparations that are going on here and also to direct and even see what is going on here so that nothing goes wrong. We are not going to leave anything to chance, but we have to make sure that this field is prepared and ready 
for the mega, mega visitation of the Lord. Many nations, I want to say, yes. they have been praying and, and the world Lord. trusting and, and longing and crying yes. to have a meeting like this one. Yes. And for us to be slaughtered into yes. the calendar. Yes. Oh, this is very mighty. Yes. This is very big. As you summarize, Deputy Bishop John Langat. Yes, Senior Bishop, this is very true. Nobody wants to be left behind because this meeting is like no other. We have already heard and we should prepare to host it in a honorable manner. That's why even students are co have come here to join this mob and people who have come to put their hands to this work. Yes. It is because this is going to be mega, mega historic meeting yes. and powerful, powerful visitation of yes. the Lord. Mighty. Mighty like no other. Very powerful indeed. My names are Richard Amolo Opio from Oyugis. I want to thank the Lord so much for this opportunity. Indeed, the work is going on in Aya and very higher here. Now we are beginning to dig the toilets here up there. And I want to welcome everybody wherever they are that the work is going on very, very, very high. Thank you so much, my Lord. Thank you indeed. Indeed, I want to welcome all people from Oyugis, all the people from Kisumu, Nyamera, Nyakache. Hey, thank you and welcome to uh, welcome to Nakuru Menengai. Indeed, because before I before I joined this ministry, I was blind in one side. I nili langanyo na wale ambao na jita ni wahombaji. Lakini nili yenda wakaniombea. Lakbara siko siku pata usalisi. Wakati nili jiunga na udumu ya toba na utakatifu. Nigi po ni kapata uponyaji. Yomba na siku ya leo tunaserekia uponyaji wabona. We wait and 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 wait Very, very powerful indeed. In fact, I'm even wondering who is really going to miss this mega meeting? Who is really going to miss this mega meeting? And basically, before I tell you about the itinerary of what is going to take place, actually, you know, you could actually see from that clip that, you know, uh, everything is ready. In fact, we managed to talk with the Deputy Archbishop Daniel uh, over there, confirming to us that everything is ready and it's all systems go for them. And uh, if you look at uh, you know uh, you look at the electrical department they are ready and even their poles by then were already you know uh, already being mounted over there and even if you look at even uh, you know different departments it was all systems go and basically that same last week we on Friday we basically have a live interview here right here with the one uh, pastor Eric and also uh, you know uh, Bishop Corey who are also present in our studios right here in on Crown TV in Nakuru and they were uh, you no know, they were actually enlightening us more about you know the mobilization around you know uh, this mega meeting and also you know telling us more uh, you know more information of, around it that everybody is uh, most welcomed over here and now I just want us you know to take a look at that and then when we come back, we'll still con uh, you know, advance this conversation. Ministry of Repentance and Holiness invites you all to the super, super grand mega healing service that will be conducted by the mightiest, mightiest prophet of the Lord, Dr. Awar, on the 16th and 17th of March at the Menengai grounds in Nakuru. This will be followed by the international and interdenominational conference of pastors and ministers of the gospel on the 18th of March at the Nakuru Showground. All manner of diseases will be healed. The cripples, the blind, the deaf, the dumb, the paralytics, the lame, spinal cord injuries, cancers and tumors, all manner of wounds, the lunatics, HIV AIDS, and all other diseases under the sun. 
Remember, the 16th and 17th of March will be the super, super grand mega healing service at the Menengai grounds in Nakuru, conducted by the mightiest, mightiest prophet of the Lord, Dr. Awar. And on the 18th of March will be the international and interdenominational conference of pastors and ministers of the gospel at the Nakuru showground. Kanidawa Ministry of Repentance and Holiness otogoretio ni muna fi mune ne muno wa gai Dr. David Award ne marako nyita uge ni moshe mwenye ni mune ne muno wa oho ni okori ya keharu ina kia mene gai na ikuru tale kiko mina idha dhatu na iko mina mugu wa jamweli weta tu na guwa tale kiko mina nyanya ne guga koro na kia ugano kia atu gata li ama kanidha mothe merimoya dheneka honi otashio je itu mumu, itaigua, kansa HIV and AIDS na menimo ege oyo the. Moshemani oyo kame mere kio emwe kwa emwe K24 TV. Jesus is Lord Radio 105.3 na 105.9 FM. Ohamwe na YouTube. Inyua the mori anjiti oge ni. Very, very powerful. Very, very awesome. And in fact, this is um, you know, a serious event that is coming up in Nakuru that no one is going to afford to amaze. To miss and actually you know from us crown tv will be bringing you this live you know feeds from the ground of that meeting and we'll be bringing it right to you if you are f here for the first time just for you know follow us on all our social medias uh, pl media platform at crown tv do, uh, crown tv ke and also on our mainstream uh, you know uh, uh, mainstream media whereby we'll be broadcasting on pang channel 623 right here on crown tv and basically you know it's a wrap from us and we just want to invite you all to this mega mega grand mega meeting that is coming up in nakuru it's all systems go and even from us right here on the studios we are ready for it we are prepared and all logistics are all placed uh, put in place and we welcome you all from me here peter fabius till we meet again next time thank you thank you thank you indeed <music>